All right, here, it's, I was just talking to myself here. I forgot the camera was on. What I'm kind of open here is, if I put a bunch of pressure up on here and lift it just slightly off of the jack stands, there won't be this whole, <coughs> um, well, what I'm thinking is just too much weight on these bolts. So like if I could equalize that, get it off the jack stands, which are, you know, basically pushing up on the uh, uh, axle and equalize it a bit so that, it, you know, one of these bolts that I've already loosened or, or another one that I can get off of there rather than cutting the U-bolt, which I will get onto and I will do that if this doesn't work. I kind of understand the physics of it, but at the same time, there's always, you do one thing and it pushes the problem somewhere else, so we'll see. But if I can just get, yeah, if I can take these off normally, I would rather. If I have to, I'll cut them. Now, this is the only day, it's it's uh, the day after my birthday, the day before Christmas. This is the only day that's been, it's not stupid cold out. It's overcast, it's going to snow at one point, but uh, right now this is a good sketch. So I'm just going to put some pressure on this and I'll see it's come off the it's come off the stand there a bit. I have a feeling, yeah, it's not it's not on this stand anymore. It is on the other one, so anyway, this is a little dangerous given that we're only relying I do have jack stand over there, but yeah. I just want to see whether this at all it becomes easier. If it doesn't, we go to plan B. I'm trying not to put any sideways force on it like I did to break that off. And I'm standing outside of the way of the car in case this jack stand or the jack starts to go sideways and it falls down on the jack stand. I'd really rather not the car hit my fucking head. And also I predict that we will break that converter if we break anything. Did break loose. I'm just not sure if it will uh, soften up in a way that those will come off. I wish this was a ratchet. I don't know, I think it might be easier than when I was uh, trying with the shorter thing, but still, that would take, like, at that rate, that would take an hour to get that one thing off. So that means getting some uh, <coughs> hacksaws out. I could do it with a death wheel, but I really hate making sparks, like, right in front of the gas tank. I know that it can be done. But I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to uh, fucking crazy shit like that. I can actually smell uh, failure in my <clears throat> near future here, but... Yeah, okay, already shit's in the way. Alright, we're going from that big boy to this little bastard. Is this the tool for the job? Absolutely fucking not. And in fact... Well, I might be able to get an angle that I couldn't before on this. But I'll bet you I can't get through without hitting. So, fuck. I was also thinking maybe I could just cut these bolts down. Not with the jack here, of course. To a point where it wouldn't take all afternoon to back those nuts off. Take the gas tank out, which will help get out the shocks, and would remove the issue that I have with uh, making mega sparks here, or using a torch, or using a grinder. I didn't want to have to do that, but it's fine. It's not hard to take the gas tank out, but sometimes it's hard to put the sender back in without leaking and all that kind of bullshit, but we can deal with that too. 
the front of the tank is really close to the rear end but not stupidly so I could but yeah that sender gasket once you've opened it up you really can't reuse those you gotta get a new gasket and stuff and I hate it when they leak yeah anyway, I'm not sure I'll put this up because that's two fails in a row is pretty fucking pathetic and uh I don't know. We'll have to see. If it has any value when I watch it, it was. Oh. All right. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Talk soon. Have a Merry Christmas and all the uh, sort of different things. Get drunk. Have some fun. Fuck. Bye.